Toyota finally reveals their new two-door rear-wheel drive coupe, and it's not called what you think it is. Toyota and BMW partnering up as well. F1 comes to a close for 2011, and Mazda has some trick technology up their sleeve, using eyes before words, of course. Plus, we have Commenter of the Week. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're watching Fast Lane Daily, while checking your Facebook status, of course. Years of speculation, days wasted following spy shots and video, hours of hate mail and cyberbullying, but finally, finally we've got the first official photos of the new Toyota rear-wheel drive sports car. As a concept, we've been calling it the FT86, or the Toyobaru, or the when the hell is this thing coming out, Uru. And now that it's finally been revealed by Toyota, we've got the real name. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah, totally. The GT86, not FT86. Now, before we get into all the details of the car, to all you idiots, or I mean people, who bought up FT86 domain names, well, we're sorry, guys. No, we're not. You're shit out of luck. Moving on to the car. Here in the US, it is confirmed that it will be called the Scion FRS, but everywhere else, the GT86. The car will get a 2-liter flat-four boxer engine with D4S direct injection technology, pushing out about 197 horsepower at 7,000 RPM. I thought they should have sprung for the extra 3 horsepower, but just to say 200, but that's neither here nor there. Max torque will be 151 pound-feet at 6,600 RPM. It's a small car, the smallest four-seater sports car on the market. That means it's light and has a low center of gravity, 475 millimeters to be exact. That's, uh, where's the bottom of the screen, JF? Right here? Right here? Okay, here's the bottom of the screen. You're looking at like here. So that's like there. So that's a low center of gravity. Right there. A little bigger. That's, about, that's probably about right. Yeah. Also, the car has a near perfect weight distribution at 53 up front to 47 to the rear. It'll be seen at the Tokyo Auto Show in only a few days, but first, We'll have to just watch YouTube videos of every single Japanese journalist and their mother driving the car before we do. Good job, Toyota. Finally got the Prius out of your ass and decided to make an awesome, affordable sports car. Again. Yeah. And speaking of Toyota, the brand known best for their 30 flavors of beige is in talks with BMW. Yes, I said BMW. They soon may have a partnership that involves sharing engine technologies. This comes by way of the Detroit News. It seems the Tokyo office of JP Morgan is reporting that BMW and Toyota are working on an agreement where BMW would provide Toyota with diesel engines in exchange for hybrid technologies from Toyota. Let's just hope that in some back room at Toyota, BMW representatives don't get kidnapped, gagged, and held for ransom of good designs. Kidnapped and gagged, huh? You sure Max Mosley isn't hanging out back there? No? Too soon? Very quickly, this past weekend marked the end of the 2011 Formula 1 season at the Grand Prix of Brazil. It took place down at Sao Paulo. The winner, if you don't want to know, it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very quickly, just not as quick as I just did it before those bars. This past weekend marked the end of the 2011 Formula 1 season as the Grand Prix of Brazil took place down in Sao Paulo. The winner, now if you don't want to hear it, cover your ears and eyes for about 8 seconds starting now. The winner was Mark Webber after Sebastian Vettel was having to short shift through the gears, nursing a bad transmission. For the season, Red Bull came up on top for the second year in a row, with McLaren in second, Ferrari in third, Mercedes in fourth, followed by Renault, Force India, and Sauber. The championship driver, we all know too well. Vettel clinched it again for a second year in a row, with Jensen Button beating out Weber for second and Fernando Alonso. And moving on to the final story, Mazda has announced their new iELOOP kinetic energy recovery system. Is it ELOOP? Yeah, sure. iELOOP. They debuted it at the... Uh, f Wait, was I just barred again? Is those the bars? Why, why do they keep friggin... Stop barring me! Stop giving me... Really? <laughs> debuted in the Takeri concept, the world's first regenerative braking system to use a capacitor to capture energy and eliminates the need for a dedicated battery system. Right? Yes. Okay. Such a system reduces the weight of the car and will provide an average of 10% better fuel economy in any one of Mazda's new vehicles. We should see IE Loop introduced later next year. These friggin' names are getting way out of hand with these damn eyes before the words. 
Get off the bandwagon of eyes before words, that's all I'm saying. What I'm, what I'm gonna say now, though, is do you guys know what time it is? Uh, At 11, not actual 15, time, I mean like. 5, 12? Nope. It's commenter of the week time. Comments, our show, yeah, commenter of the week. Comments. Well, every time we do auto shows, we always get a few people saying, Uh, oh, Derek D, you guys didn't cover everything at the auto show, blah, 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 blah. Well, we had a bunch of those comments as well at this year's LA Auto Show, including one from YouTuber jburry one He said, Good job, guys. Thank you for sharing your visit with us. Well, you missed quite some few important cars, like the new Chevy Spark, the Camaro ZL1, Ford Escape, the CX-5 with Skyactiv technology, the Hyundai Azera, Ford Flex, Honda Fit EV, Lincoln's MKS and MKT, Fiat 500 Abarth, and Mercedes-Benz ML63 AMG, oh, and Rover DC100. Watch how Inside Line did their IDs and compare it to the only two you guys have. You guys can do better and we know it. So I'll expect at least for you guys to mention them next week, keep you. <laughs> well, Mr. J. Burry 01, I'm assuming at the end there, instead of keep you, you meant to say keep up the good work or keep under delivering. I wasn't really sure if you were complimenting us or hating on us in that comment, I don't know. Either way, just listen up. When we go to auto shows, we cover the important reveals and things we think are worth mentioning. If we covered everything, our episode would be way too long and boring as hell like those douches with suits talking for 20 minutes about how the Chevy Spark is going to revolutionize the industry. I swear, if I had a dollar for every time I heard suits saying loaded with bull phrases like this all new beautiful car or this car is everything you wanted and more, I'd have about 86 bucks at every auto show. That's a good number. And hey, I'm not picking on the Chevy Spark. It's an okay little car with good gas mileage aimed at a certain demographic. My point is, we cover what we think you guys want to watch, and we do it in a fun and funny way. You can almost never please everybody. Oh, and we did cover the Mercedes ML63 AMG, Camaro Z01, and we briefly showed the Fiat 500 A-Bar. That's just some FYI. Oh, and please don't compare us to Edmunds Inside Lane, I mean line. Here at FLD, we're working with about three, four, maybe five people on a daily basis that work on the show. And even when we go to remote shoots, Edmonds Inside Line, you look at it like 40 or so. All right? So that's the difference there. Just letting you guys know. How's that, JF? Perfect. Good. Well, that'll do it. Oh, hey. Well, I said Edmonds Inside Line. Did you actually see those? No. Please don't compare us to those. Okay, thanks. Well, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Hope your Cyber Monday shopping goes well or whatever else you're going to do on Monday today. Uh, working, eating, and I'm going to watch Monday Night Football. Go Giants, by the way. I just want to say that. Bye, world. Dude, you know, Derek, that what? you can drive to France. I can drive to France from here? Yes. No. Well, yes. maybe I did. I don't know. You can. I just learned that there is a French colony off the coast of Canada. That actually has roads? It's it's a it's an island you can take a ferry to that is French soil. It has a French flag, they use the Euro uh. and they have all French cars, all it's Peugeots, Renaults, Citroëns, all yeah. European license plates. It's, they have the French flag. So you can drive to France. You can drive from France. Ah, but you do have to take a ferry. Yeah. Okay. You can bring your car on the ferry though, right? Isn't yeah. that interesting? That is very interesting. Europe is here. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not there. Well, it's not no, here. They're taking over. Well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs>